Hi guys, my name is Lubica and I'm here to show you how to start using Draft. One of the coolest things about Draft is its two weeks long free trial period you can use to trial its features, integrations, and to get familiar with uh, its overall behavior and uh, ways of functioning. We're going to start from scratch. So out of your browser, go to Draft.com domain, where you will see try for free button. Click on that button. Uh, this action will open a form where you can pick from predefined industry templates just to get a glimpse of how your workspace will look like uh, in certain cases. Uh, those are fully editable, but uh, you can even skip this part. So I will go with other, and here you can fill in the industry name you want or skip. How many employees do you have in your team? Uh, I'll go with it's only me because uh, you'll see once you're in, it's really easy to add new users. And I will show you how. So click on it's only me and then click continue. Here is where you can pick a primary color. I'll go with pink right now. And this is where you specify your company name. You will see that uh, as you type in the company name, a draft will automatically generate uh, the unique URL for you. So this will be the link you can share with your customers and clients because uh, every time they click on that link, it will appear to them as they are opening a web page of yours. Agreed terms of use and continue. You can sign up over LinkedIn or over your Facebook account. For this, uh, I will sign up with my Google account. And that's it. Okay, so this is your admin dashboard where all the settings you need are located. If you don't know your way around, you can use this super helpful tutorials that will lead you to step-by-step -step setting explanations. Uh, I will skip them for now, and I will just go to general settings. And this is where you can set company details, office hours, SMS and email notifications, payments. You can pick features and integrations, uh, user, you, you set users and roles, and customize a website. You can customize the website even here, but general settings also have that option. Uh, so I promised I will show you how to add a new user. It's really simple. Just go here and add a new user. And when you fill in the data, you assign a role to this user. And the difference between roles is in the access rights to admin dashboard itself. So that's it. I will just go to customize a website. Uh, the first thing you see here is the embed code. And this is really helpful because if you want to uh, integrate draft into your existing website it's possible you just copy and paste this code and of course if you don't have a website but you plan to develop it in the future uh, this is the code you want to use for that uh, you can set preferred language custom fields and you can add some custom css code for even more customization so i will just go to look and feel uh, and here is uh, where you have all those predefined teams and templates for uh certain appearance of your draft. I will just pick this one and I will pick a large image size for uh, service images. I will pick a pink primary color and let's say this font and I will remove draft mark and I will upload uh, the example of a logo I found and uh, I will save changes. Each time you save a change, you can check how your website looks in that moment by click on the booking website. And this is how your website looks right now. Now we're going back to dashboard to add more. And now we're gonna customize the service appearance. So go here and then pick a service you wanna customize. Those services are here uh, just uh, as the example services generated by Draft. You can add different categories and the unlimited number of services. But now we will try with those three. Just go here, edit the service and here you can change the price, you can enter taxes, duration of the service, uh, employee, uh, color, and the color of description. And uh, let's start with uploading the photo. And let's change the color of this description to green and bold. Save changes. And then go with the next one. And we will do the same. We will just change the color of the font of the description. And the next one.
And that's it. Now let's see the result. And that's it, guys. Super easy and looks great, right?